So we have got two things, uh, scleritis, episcleritis, right? So it's inflammation of sclera or episclera. That's the thing, right? So scleritis is a severe, yeah? Patient is going to have eye pain. The same thing as we discussed for keratitis, it's there in scleritis as well. Patient is going to present to you with uh, pain, eye pain, severe eye pain usually. They'll have redness in the eye as well, watering, photophobia, loss of vision as well. So what a differential you're going to rule out? Of course, your angle closure glaucoma. You're going to ask for keratitis as well. Or maybe retinal detachment as well. Again, for scleritis, what do you usually be looking for? You'll be looking for a history like rheumatoid arthritis. You're looking for a history of IBD. That is really, really important. And patient is taking maybe, say, medicines, DMARs or methotrexate for it. And that is going to be the risk factor. The patient might have inflammation of this uh, sclera, scleritis. Yeah. Uh, what you do is uh, general physical examination, vital slit lamp examination that you can do. And uh, so, as I said, scleritis is more severe. Scleritis is more severe. Uh, admission. So, what you need to do is admit the patient. It's going to be immediately that you need to do. Immediate referral. That is the thing. Scleritis. It's, it's a severe pain. It's a severe pain the patient is having. So, painkiller, immediate referral. And what will be the treatment? Treatment is actually corticosteroid corticosteroid and make sure the treatment for RA or IBD it is done properly the patient is uh, doing it properly and we can refer the patient to the specialist as well so if they, there is any need we can review the medication as well right surgery laser that can be done as well but main thing is it's inflammatory disease so corticosteroids that is going to be very very helpful now have a look at this thing as episcleritis is the inflammation of superficial layer Again, when you see a picture of eye as an FY2, I can't differentiate. I'm being very honest. But episcleritis patient is going to tell you, I have got discomfort in the eye. They won't say pain. Whereas scleritis patient is going to say, I've got severe pain in my eye. That is the main thing. So, and to be honest, if you ask me which is most common, episcleritis is more common than scleritis. Right. So, and it's self-limiting. It's going to be there and then the patient is going to subside. It's going to subside on its own. It's non-urgent. You don't need to worry about that much. And it's a discomfort. So what are you going to give? You're going to give some eye drops, uh, like uh, lubricant eye drops, uh, artificial tears. That's what you're going to give it to the patient. Uh, maybe painkillers if um, needed, that can be given as well. So pain or discomfort, you need to see that thing, right? History of RA, IBD, patient is on methotrexate. Where it's going? Scleritis, episcleritis. So manage it accordingly, right? Patient will be asking, when are I going to go? When are I going to get better? Will I go blind? I think you can answer these questions, right? And you need to know when it is immediate referral and when it is going to be uh, normal, like, I mean, just uh, normal referral, uh, non-urgent referral. Sometimes in episcleritis, you just give some look, pick a eye drops and after a week patient is feeling absolutely okay then you don't need any referral actually isn't it but of course when a piece of scleritis patient came to you you give them warning signs as well you'll tell them it's self-limiting but if it is not getting better obviously the patient has to come back and then if needed we can refer them to the specialist as well right that's how it is uh, done okay now, what we have is ice. As I said, ice, do not miss, guys. Ice, 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 ice. Chuck and check, summarize, acknowledgement, body language, good body language, positive body language, active listening, leaflets, you can always offer, right? Uh, DVLA, yes, if it is a scleritis, it's a severe pain, so patient should not be driving. And if it is affecting the vision, definitely they need to inform uh, uh, DVLA as well. Tell the patient to always come for the follow-up as well. And safety netting, if the eye pain is getting really bad and vision loss, is getting worse maybe or if it is there let us know or come back to the hospital so that's how you're gonna do your uh, scleritis okay great mm -hmm.